The next number up today is eight, as in eight years. Now, that's how long Apollo Nida was convicted last night in Real Housewives of Atlanta for bank fraud. Now, he is the husband of a really important cast member, Phaedra Parks. Now, he earned millions of dollars by setting up dummy bank accounts and using stolen identities to do so and depositing fake banks and earn millions of dollars to the point where he was able to buy his family a multi-million dollar mansion in Atlanta. Now, Phaedra Parks, his wife, who is a lawyer, said that she didn't know anything about it, even though he was convicted for doing a similar thing on auto fraud. But you know what they say, love is blind. But in the midst of all this ratchetness, there is actually a really important issue that came up. Candy Burris, another cast member, said that one of the issues is that men, when they come out of jail, are stigmatized and can't find work and are not able to participate in the labor market. And as was written in The Nation by Kai Wright last year, black men, when they apply for jobs after prison, are three times less likely to receive a callback for an interview than white men who've been convicted of the same crime. So it seems to me that in the midst of all of the mess last night actually was highlighted an issue that we all need to pay attention to.